how do you know what's a good idea and a bad idea? You know, like, how do you know if uh, martinis made of spinach and kale is going to be a good <laughs> idea or not, just because you had them? You never know for sure. And you have to be okay with uncertainty. But I am a big believer in that it is a numbers game. So I do spend 15 minutes every day brainstorming ideas. They could be book ideas or article ideas or just like random ideas. And I, I am aware and I'm fine with the fact that 99% of these will never see the light of day and probably shouldn't. A lot of them suck. And I'm okay with that <laughs> because I once did an article on how to be creative. And one of the findings of research scientists was it, it is a numbers game. Yeah. Even, you know, Mozart wrote some crappy stuff. Uh, Picasso painted some crappy stuff. No one's going to be batting a thousand. So it's all about like, generating as many ideas as you can, and then trying your best to figure them out. And as to how I figure out which are good, I have a couple of heuristics. As I say, none of them are perfect. One is if this is an idea that stays with me, like I came up with it a month ago and I, I keep coming back to it like, oh, maybe there's something there. Another is I'm a big fan of telling people my ideas. I used to be very paranoid, but now I like to tell people, oh, I'm thinking of writing a book about X and just look at their eyes and see, you know, because you do, can do, tell. Do you like, do you like the like, that's weird. And you're like, okay, good. Good. I'm onto something weird. <laughs> or do you look for like the little spark of curiosity or interest? Yeah, I would say the spark of okay. curiosity. I mean, <laughs> not, the, weird... not the like, that is your idea. Okay. <laughs> right. Weird is good in general, but it shouldn't be your first. It should be like, that's fascinating and weird. You want that combination. So, because weird could just mean like, I'm not interested. It's too So, so the idea has to live with you a bit and it has to be something that, that just keeps coming back to you. You talk about it with people and you're looking for a little bit of buy-in from them, which is right. cool. Also, I feel it has to be something that will make the world better or make my life better, or hopefully both. Because first of all, if I'm going to be spending two to three years on it, I, can, I don't want to do something that's just trivial. And I also think sometimes they want pure escapism, but I like to combine almost you know, entertainment with something that's going to make their life better. Uh, you know, I don't want to say education because that sounds didactic. That sounds boring. <laughs> exactly. You want to mix the sweet and the, the nutritious so that you get both. If you want to hear more from the aptly named human guinea pig, and frankly, who doesn't? The four-time New York Times bestselling author, A.J. Jacobs, about how he develops his greatest ideas, the unexpected lessons, and why the hell does he put himself through these challenges? <laughs> Click on the link right over there. You have got to hear the full story.